Hi everybody and welcome to this unit in which we acknowledge whose land we're on. The focus of this class, as you know, is the modern use of California native plants in the landscape. Over the course of the semester, we'll be looking at many different plants and going on plant walks through several areas, both natural and cultivated in Santa Cruz County. As we do this, it's important for us all to remember that most of Santa Cruz County is part of the traditional and unceded territory of tribes of the Awaswas Nation. Today, the descendants of these tribes comprise the Amamutsan tribal band, and Awaswas is the language spoken by indigenous peoples in the area we now call Santa Cruz. The dotted line on the map here outlines the traditional lands of the Amamutsan, which, as you can see, includes not just much of Santa Cruz County, but all or portions of San Benito, Monterey, Santa Clara, and San Mateo counties. Today, stewardship of open spaces and incorporating native plants in our cultivated ornamental landscapes is part of an intentional concern for nature and our natural ecosystems. But we need to remember that this isn't a new concept. Before being displaced from their lands by the Spanish missions in the 18th century, indigenous peoples had been present in California for at least 10,000 years and actively and sustainably tended the landscape to meet their needs using fire and a variety of agricultural or horticultural practices. Historically, managing natural resources was of course vital for survival because it provided food and shelter. But stewardship of the land was also central to spiritual and cultural practices. The pictures here on the right show three plants from different plant communities whose fruits all have historical local importance as sources of food. You can see red maids, manzanita and tan oak. In California, traditional stewardship of natural and cultural resources was brutally disrupted by the, the establishment of the Spanish missions beginning in the late 18th century. Ancestors of the Amamutsan were forcibly displaced from their lands by Spanish colonial invaders and held in the missions at San Juan Batista and Santa Cruz, where they were forced to provide free labor and convert to Catholicism. Native Americans' treatment in California was no better after Mexico's independence from Spain in 1821 and the subsequent secularization of the missions in 1833, when ownership of mission lands was granted to Mexican rancheros instead of being returned to indigenous people. 1849 and the discovery of gold in California was the catalyst for a vast influx of immig immigrants and the start of modern colonization of the region. The displacement of native people from their lands and communities by these continuous periods of colonization has resulted in the loss of many of their traditional ways, stories and histories, including their intentional stewardship of the land. Today, the Amamutsan are working hard to regain their traditional knowledge, celebrate their heritage and reclaim their sovereignty. And this includes their obligation to care for and steward the land and all living things. One of the ways in which they're doing this is by building partnerships with land managers and research institutions in the public, non-profit and private sectors. These organizations include the Sempervirens Fund, California State Parks, Mid Peninsula Regional Open Space, UCSC Arboretum, and Pi Ranch, plus research scientists at UC Berkeley and UCSC. Through a range of collaborative projects, which include archaeological and fire research and experimental ecological restoration, lights being shed on the historical conditions of the California landscape and furthering the understanding of how cultural and biological resources can best be enhanced and protected today. Some of the Amamutsan's work is highlighted in a short 18 minute documentary called Here and Now that was released back in 2016. And I'd like you to watch this documentary after the lecture. You'll find a link to the documentary back in Canvas. 
The documentary covers four of the partnerships that the Amamutsan Tribal Band and the Kashir Band of the Pomo Indians have formed with organizations in the greater San Francisco Bay Area. It weaves together social justice, land conservation, human history, and sci scientific knowledge into a cohesive story about what's possible when we all work together. And lastly, as we're all progressing through this class and our lives outside of this class, I'd like to encourage all of us who are not of Native American descent to learn more about the culture and true history of Native Californians and consider ways in which we can support them today. That's the end of this video lecture. Take a break now or head back to Canvas to continue with this module.